First thing you got to do is you got to give Michigan all the credit in the world. Um, thought the environment today was tough. Um, obviously, defensively, uh, they kicked our butts. Um, you know, our defense has been on the field way too many reps the last couple weeks. You know, so, uh, give Michigan credit. They're a good football team. We did not play well. Uh, we did not play well uh, today. So, we got to make some adjustments. We got to make some corrections, obviously, and we got to get ready uh, for next week. It's very, very important how we handle this this week as coaches and players uh, to give ourselves the best opportunity to come back next week and play well. James, you, you uh, said last week that Trace had earned the, uh, the right to go out there even when he was banged up a little bit. What went into the decision to bring him back late in the third quarter and then again in the fourth quarter when the game was out of hand? Yeah, same deal. I mean, obviously when we, uh, you know, we threw the interception there, we felt like you know, we needed to you know, put Trace back in. Obviously, uh, you know, you make the decision that you probably, you know, could have made the change a little bit earlier. The way they were pressuring us and loading the box, you know, uh, having all of Trace's mobility was critical. Um, you know, Tommy was able to do some good things when he was in there. It, it's hard taking Trace McSorley off the field. Did the same thing last week um, and made some huge plays for us. You know, so it's difficult to take him off the field. Um, that, that's probably the biggest thing is our, our trust and our belief in him. Uh, but obviously, um, you know, after the fact, you know, we should have made a change early. James, you were leading the country in scoring five weeks ago, and you get held to seven points. Can you explain what's happened to your offense? Uh, we we played really good teams. We played really good teams. You know, we uh, we have got to continue improving on the offensive side of the ball, uh, but we're playing really really good teams in the in the Big Ten. I mean, you know, that, I think that's the number one defense in the country. Uh, in in a lot of categories, and they played like it today, and we didn't. So give that give Michigan's defense and give Michigan's coaches and Michigan's players credit. Rich, James, in the first half, you called a timeout after it was first and nineteen to avoid a delay game penalty. Then Trace slid. Looked like he may have picked up the first down. Did you consider calling a timeout then? And if if not, why? Because it's a judgment call. You know, so you know when when you, when a when a runner slides, as soon as you initiate the slide, they're going to mark them down, and it's a judgment call. So they're not. That's not one of those things that they can review and look at. When did the knee hit the ground? It's soon as you start the slide, and that's a judgment call. So um, you know, obviously, you know, obviously a, a, a tough situation there. I thought that would have been a obviously a big pickup early in the game for us. But we've reviewed that. We've talked about that. He thought he had the first down and obviously started to slide a little bit earlier, and they marked it just the way the rule says. James, did you have a, a read on how good McSorley's knee was early, and did it change during the game based on what you saw? Because, you know, Trace wants to play. He's going to tell you something that might not be the truth. I'm sure you know that. How did that go? How did your perception go? Trace, is, the Trace has always been, been very upfront and honest with us. Um, Trace is not going to put his playing over the team. He's a very mature guy. Uh, he's never done those things. And, and again, I think a lot of it goes back to last week. You know, he was able to come back last week um, and play at a pretty high level. Obviously, a week later, getting treatment every single day. Um, he looked good. Um, he felt good. But Tr Trace would never do that. Trace, Trace is a team first guy. He's always very honest. He's very upfront. He's very transparent. Um, so we would never question that. When Trace tells us something, that we trust it. Did, you, did your perception of how good his knee was change during the game at all? Um, no, I, I don't know if it necessarily was as much about Trace's knee. Um, as it was about how good they are on defense. You know, obviously more mobility trace at 100%, yeah, uh, I, I think helps us. There's no doubt about it. But I think it's, you know, I, I, we got to give them credit. You know, they're the number one defense in the country for a reason. And, um, you know, that, that was the bigger difference tonight. You know, um, obviously trace being 100% could have made a difference. Yeah, no doubt about it. But, you know, I think it's got to start with giving Michigan credit. So when Tommy threw the interception and Trace went back in there, was that to protect Tommy or to, to, to talk to him about the, that play, or was it more just, hey, we, we need to stabilize things and get Trace back in there? Yeah, that was that was you know obviously we can't turn the ball over, you know, um, we can't turn the ball over no situations, so it felt like we had to go back with Tommy, um, what, excuse me, with Trace. You know, it wasn't a situation where the guy just made a great play. 
Um, the last thing we want to do when you know when we're in a situation we were in tonight is, is start turning the ball over. So uh, that was the decision to go back. And speaking of turnovers, you got two straight weeks now where there's been a you know on the exchange between Trace and Miles there, and some just to land on the ground. Uh, is there anything that you've seen similar in both those plays, or what? Yeah, it was indecision, you know, and indecision, you know, at the read. Um, we waited to the last minute to 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 give it, and it was on his on his hip, uh, and you can't do that, you know. And you know, to be honest with you, as soon as Trace came to the sideline, that, that's what he said. He goes, "I was indecisive," you know, and uh, that that's what happened. I watched it on the replay, and, and Trace came to the sideline just like I said, like he always does. He just owns things. James, uh, you mentioned the environment. Did you think you guys would would handle it better? Yeah, you know. Um, you know the last the last couple of years has been like this. You know they come to our place and have to play in our environment, and it's a tough environment to play in. We come in here, it's a tough environment to play in. Especially, you know, I think when you're talking about D lines, you know, our defensive line at home when people have a hard time communicating uh, are challenging. When you come here and you got to play in this environment and and they're a pressure defense, um, you know, a bunch of single blocks. And, and they're able to, you know, gain the advantage, um, you know, of, of communication at the line of scrimmage, uh, makes it makes it very very challenging. You know, did I did I think we would handle the noise better? Um, yes, but again, I think it's it's not just one thing. It's it's the noise. It's their defense. Um, you know, they again, I, I can't give them enough credit. We knew they were good on film. They got Rashawn Gary back this week as well. Uh, we knew they were really good on tape. And we knew it was going to be a challenge, there's no doubt about it. And it was magnified for all the reasons you guys have brought up. Um, you know, it limited at some positions from an injury standpoint, a really good plan by them. We had opportunities uh, that we didn't hit. Um, you know, so, you know, just you can kind of spread the wealth. And also, you mentioned uh, uh, the big kickoff. Were you trying to get a big kickoff? Is that why you declined the penalty? Yeah, you know, uh, you know we had 39 yards of offense at that point. So decline the penalty, make them kick it again. We did that earlier in the year. Um, you know the way we were struggling offensively against those defense. I was looking to try to give us a spark. Decline, uh, you know, excuse me, take the penalty, make them re-kick it, uh, gain five yards there, make them re-kick it, and get the ball into a playmaker's hand. Um, you know, in um, in KJ, and uh, obviously we didn't we didn't execute well enough, so I ended up losing yardage there. How did you approach the last time you were here that you can apply to next week, you know, the following week after a loss like that? I'm sorry? How did you, the last time you were here, how did you approach coaching the following week that you can now apply to this week in after a loss? After yeah, I, I think it's a combination of things, but probably most importantly, our defense has played way too many reps the last three, four weeks. We, we have talked about that. You guys, you guys have brought it up as well. So I think the biggest thing is we got to be smart with how we practice this week. We got to give our guys the best chance um, to you know, um, you know, put this game behind us, move forward, um, practice smart this week, take some of the take some of those reps and wear and tear off of them, so we can be as fresh as we possibly can come Saturday. So we're going to have to make some some adjustments with how we practice and, and how we work. Um, this week's going to be really important. Time for two more, um, James. Shea Patterson ran the read option frequently today. So what challenge did that pose for your team? Yeah, I think it started. They were able to establish the run with the inside row, uh, inside zone, and then the pin and pull scheme on the perimeter to their to their tight end wing set. Um, you know, we were committing aggressively uh, to stop that inside zone, and and then obviously now with Shea, they've added another element to their package, uh, getting on the perimeter. So you know, we were we were being probably overly aggressive to stop the inside runs, uh, and it left us a little susceptible on the perimeter. Jake, when you lose a game like this. What are the things you focus on over the next week? Is leadership, is making sure everybody's on the same page, and to get back to your one and zero philosophy. Yeah, exactly what you just said there. We we got great leadership. We got a really good locker room. Obviously, everybody's hurting in there. Uh, coaches are hurting. Everybody. I get it. The fans are hurting. I, I get it. Um, but we got a great locker room, and uh, our guys will handle this the right way. We got an opportunity coming up this week, and we got to make sure. Um, that there's no hangover effect from this. Sunday is going to be really important for us. Our day off Monday is going to be really important for us. And then obviously the rest of the week, Tuesday through Friday, will be really important. So, um, you, know, you know, we got to give Michigan credit. We got to look ourselves in the mirror. Uh, we got to make some adjustments and, and we got to make some, make some corrections and, and then uh, give ourselves the best opportunity to be successful next week. Thank you, Coach.